What's cooking guys? Ducking in Premiere Pro is probably one of the coolest features I have found so far, and it has saved me so much time when it comes to audio editing. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's get into it. So ducking is simple as when you have a dialogue track and then you have a music track underneath it. When that dialogue is going, you have keyframes on your music track go down when they're talking so you can actually hear them talk. So when that audio level goes down over the dialogue on the music track, that is ducking. So you may know what ducking is and how to do it, but I bet you're doing it way wrong. Rather than actually having to put these keyframes manually every single time someone's talking and having to put these keyframes on that music track every single time, especially with like a big project like mine, I have multiple dialogue aspects right here. And I don't want to set keyframes every single time he's talking, bringing it up, bringing it down, making sure it's even the whole way across. Here, putting my keyframes, having the ducking come back up and then making it even on the next part, because most of the time that won't happen, you won't make it even. It's gonna be offset, it's not gonna be the same as before, the audio is just not gonna match up. It just takes so long, and most of the time you're not gonna get it right. So there's actually a really faster way to actually do this ducking, so I'm just gonna control Z, get rid of all those points. So how we're actually gonna access the easy way to actually do the ducking is we're gonna go into the audio effects tab over here. And this is gonna bring up this window, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign our layers. I have a dialogue layer here and I have a music layer here. Of course, like I said, I want to duck my music track so my dialogue is quieter when he's talking. So what I want to first do is I want to highlight all of my dialogue all the way across. And then I'm going to come over to my essential sound over here and I'm going to assign that to dialogue. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my music track, highlight my music track. I have to do the whole way across because I have different cuts in my music track and I'm gonna assign that to music. Now over here, you see ducking. You just wanna check that. And basically you can just generate keyframes right now. I'll show you. And then the keyframes are automatically made for you. And as you can see, right where he's talking, Hi, the music Garland. automatically is lower and then it picks back up when he stops talking all the way across the board. I didn't have to set any keyframes. They're all the way through the whole entire thing. See, that is so easy. And you can literally just leave it at that and you're like, oh, that's perfect. I don't need anything else. But for me, I actually have other layers here. Like I have another dialogue layer right here. I didn't really assign those yet, but I could go back through and set those to dialogue and then highlight my music layer again and then generate keyframes. And now these layers will now be included in the dialogue and I won't have to worry about separately ducking those or moving down those keyframes for that point. And this works for anything else. If you have sound effects, ambience, other music clips, or anything that you want to also be ducked with your dialogue, see my sound effect is right here. I can just act that as a sound effect and then go back and then I could just make sure I check sound effect and I can generate the keyframes and then that will also be included in my duct. And it's really that easy. I don't really need sound effects, so I'm gonna uncheck that at the moment. And say I didn't like any of my keyframes at the moment, you can always just go back and clear audio types and then just re-highlight the music, do music again, and then just reduct it and regenerate your keyframes. But there's also these other settings here that you can adjust your sensitivity, duck amount, fade duration, fade position. And I'm gonna show you what each of these settings means real quick. So if I just zoom into some of the keyframes and say I move the sensitivity real low and then I can just hit generate keyframes again and it'll just update the settings onto the keyframes. So I hit generate keyframes. You see how the keyframes move? That means they're just not really tracking the dialogue anymore. So that's why I usually just keep the sensitivity high and it'll be pretty accurate. And then duck amount is just how low you want the duck to go. How low do you want your audio levels to go for your music track? So right now it's set to negative 18, right? Negative 18. That's pretty good for me. You could always bump it up to a little more. I do negative 20. Seems pretty good to me. And then fade duration is simple as how long do you want the keyframes to be? Do you want it to be really long, really short? It's really up to you. All you have to do is just adjust that. I want the fade duration to be fast. Generate keyframes, now they're really close together. I want them to be a little slow. Generate keyframes. Now they're really kind of drawing out. I like to stick around 1000, seems like a good amount for me. And then I'm gonna under generate. And that seems pretty good. You can adjust those however you want. And then you have fade position, which is simply like, where do you want the fade to actually start? So at the moment it's set on outside. So right as the dialogue kind of ends, it's gonna start picking up again. And like same as before, right as it starts, it's gonna start right when he starts talking. And then say I put the fade position all the way to inside and I hit generate. It just moves the keyframes way in. So now rather than my fade kind of starting after the dialogue starts, now it's like 
probably a couple seconds before he's done talking. So you can kind of just mess with that. I like to keep it kind of in the middle. I don't want it to start like way too late. Like before I was on the outside, it started like a little too late. So that's why I kind of just keep it in the middle, maybe a little more into the outside around there. And then as always, just keep generating your keyframes and you can adjust this however you want. And then after that, you'll have all your keyframes auto-generated for ducking for your dialogue and music. And it literally works every time and it's so adjustable and it will speed up your time substantially when it comes to this part of editing. All right guys, that's all I got for you for this video. The ducking feature in Premiere Pro is pretty cool and it will save you so much time. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other future videos. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.